right, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for pressing that play button. It means the world to me. In today's video tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to fly a drone with built-in stabilization, which simply means you throw it up in the air, it's gonna hover in place from start to finish, step by step. And I also got a live video of me doing this as well. I'm gonna shorten it down for you. I know you got a short attention span, but let's get to it. All right, first thing you want to do is this. Understand what kind of drone you have. If you have a drone weighing more than 250 grams, you got to register it, and you got to get a basic license for that thing to fly around. You basically got to go, and you can see right here, my thumb's covering it. I got a, basically a registration code on my drone, and I registered it. Basic test on Transport Canada if you live in Canada, like 50 multiple choice questions, 65 is a pass. Super simple. Uh, registering it costs 10 bucks and doing your basic certificate costs you about 10 bucks. Description link below. Number two, find out where you want to fly and go look to see if you can fly there. Simply because today I knew I wanted to go to a special park. I opened the app and I go, oh, I'm actually close to an aerodrome. Perfect. I can fly there, but with caution. If I'm like basically like a kilometer north, I wouldn't be able to fly. Check it down in the description link below. Let's set up your camera lickety split. I hope you have it already in front of you. I'm going to show you the Mavic Pro here, even though I just got the Mavic Minis in. Beautiful as well. I'm going to use this as my explanation here. Boom. You got your cover, uh, your clamp right in front of here. Grab your finger, grab this, peel this back. Awesome. Now you're going to see an ND filter, short and simple. That ND filter helps your exposure. When you're in front of sunlight, you can set your exposure to get the most cinematic shots. Highly recommend it. Description link below is where you can find them. All right. Um, you know what? We'll dive quickly into that. Basically what's happening is this, your aperture, which is, you know, when you're catching mountains in the background, I live in Whistler, British Columbia, absolutely beautiful. If it's too white and it's too bright in the darkness, you got to set your aperture all the way back down. ISO, make sure it's at 100 when you're outside catching that visual light. ISO is simply artificial light jumping into your shot and you always want to keep it at 100. Second, your shutter speed, 1 50th. Keep it there and we'll get into that a little bit deeper or maybe just listen to what I'm saying. Perfect. So you're out there and you're ready to fly almost, right? You already have your DJI Go app installed. I'm not going to explain that and you already registered your drone. Hopefully you already have. I hope you're enjoying this video so far. If so, hit that like button, subscribe and you see that icon with that, it's that bell. Click my notification box. You get a notification anytime I upload a new video. Um, first thing you do is throw on your controller. You're going to hit the button once, you're going to press down to hold it for two seconds. Example, one, one, two, connecting. Perfect. The sound of magic is already just making me happy. Throw that phone app on. You're dead smack in your app. You're going to basically have um, the products you're going to be having. You're going to select it from the top uh, corner right here. I do not have a Mavic 2. That would be pretty cool. I'm going to scroll down to my Mavic Pro, which I see right in front of me. Cool, gonna go ahead and click that. Um, lock this guy in. This is gonna tell you if you are up to date with any firmwares. I always recommend to download any firmware, but it's not the end of the world if you get to your spot and it says, yeah, I got a new update. Happens all the time, just bad luck. All right, enter your device. You're gonna basically get ready to rock and roll. We're now gonna turn on the Mavic, same way you did the controller. One, and then one, two. Perfect, and now, Sound of magic. I love that sound. You know you're ready to fly when you're good to go. It's checking for device software updates, all that good stuff. We're ready to lock and load. I'm going to send this to Andrew in the future where he's basically outside where those mountains are. Now you're going to take this bottom piece off right here. Always take this off or else you're going to damage your stuff. Open her up. Wing out first. Bottom wing coming. Same thing on the other side. Turn it in the direction where you're not going to be taking off for immediately. Grab your controller right now. Okay, so once you have the app open up here, in the you're going to get the ready to go button, but that doesn't mean you're ready to fly. Um, you're first going to jump in here in the top left hand corner. You're going to see that little drone icon. Hit that icon, scroll all the way to the bottom, go to your advanced settings. Um, you're going to go scroll down a little bit slow and go to sensor state. Um, IMU, you are going to do an IMU calibration. I'm not gonna explain it. 
follow it it is super simple but when you first start your imu calibration fold all your arms together and just follow it super simple um, the idea behind the imu calibration is simply when you first get your drone to make sure that it's already ready to go and ready to rock and roll it takes location whole bunch of good stuff there when you go to on vacation you go travel with the drone also reset your imu but we're going to always calibrate the compass before we go so the compass right now is in um, it's in use oh, let's take a look sensor state calibrate compass so as you can tell you're going to get this message right here on your screen follow the prompt super simple but since this one is always done when you fly no matter where you go you're always going to get this done um, literally just spin it around in a 360 let's get that going you're going to get your drone and you're going to make sure there's no metal objects around you. No wristwatches. You're not on a metal bench. I'm on a stone bench. Get away from metal. It's going to interfere with all this technology. So you're going to spin this around in a clockwise motion. Um, you're going to pay attention to your screen. It's over there, my controller. But now it's going to tell me to basically grab it and then do another calibration like this. So once you're already all calibrated, it's then going to say you're pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna put this back down, and as I can tell, perfect. It's already talked to each other, and it's ready to rock and roll. Um, to take off, um, just like I explained, I'll explain again. You're going to get your controllers, and you're going to slam them in the down position here. So you're gonna grab these controllers here, and you're going to basically uh, slam these in the downward position. One, two, three. Awesome. So you can either do it in this direction or the inward direction, but never, and I repeat, never do that when you're flying the drone. It's an emergency stop and it'll send it crashing down no matter where you are. Okay, we're ready to go take off. Okay, so this just simply goes up, and then the drone will fly in three, two, one. Okay, now since we're up in the air, we're pretty much pretty much ready to go. Um, literally, all I'm gonna do right now from here, once it's up there, you're gonna go no more than five feet in front of yourself. So the left control stick right here is to simply turn the drone all the way around. See how the drone is simply uh, turning and turning and turning and turning and look, it's still turning. I go the opposite direction. This is your head. Picture your head on a swivel at all times. It's the up and it's also the down direction as well. So always very gentle. Like I want you to first start off super, super, super gentle. And you'll understand why. This right control stick right now in front of me is simply going to be controlling your right and your left movements here. So very simple, left and right. And then you're also going to eventually be working it into the figure eight, so how you orbit around yourself, which is cool. But for now, we're going to teach you how to do the box technique. Do is make a box. So you want to send a drone about two, three feet in front of you, just by simply moving this two stick with my right hand, and we're just going to send it straight. And right now that we've made that box no more than about seven feet in front of you, you're now going to want to turn the drone to the right hand side to make your right hand corner. So as we're going to do that, we're now going to turn the head. I want you to imagine your head, which is your left control stick right here. And then if you actually look, by turning this left, you're now turning the drone to face the direction to where we want to go. And then all you got to simply do with the right hand, send the drone in that direction. And when you're actually making your box, I want you to pretend that your hand is literally pressing like the nuclear button, ready to like destroy something. You'd be so gentle. So now you're ready to make the other corner of your box. You're basically going to be turning your head once again into the other direction. You're going to turn that all the way back. And now you can basically see myself. Um, and then we're ready to come in right now. So if you really want, we're then going to send the drone straight. And it's pretty cool. So now that you've done that, you want to then obviously do the same thing. We're now going to turn the drone in the other direction. And then we're then going to send the drone into there. So we're going to go straight. So that's the idea behind creating a box. And what I really want you to do that, your battery is going to last you about 20 minutes in cold weather like this. You're really going to want to get the fluidness of that, right? I want you to practice that box left to right. Remember, your head is on a swivel and that is on the left control side right here. And anytime you fly, you really want gloves. Even if you don't think it's a cold day, your hands, because they're not moving too much, they're going to lock up and they're going to freeze. That is the basic understanding of how to fly your drone, right? 
You got all your camera controls, which are now smart enough to help you film the best shot. You understand your basic techniques of how to operate the drone. So I'm gonna slowly move my drone in. I'm gonna kind of come down. I take a look to make sure I'm not gonna kill myself. And then once I know I got that height, I'm then gonna come over here and I'm gonna simply land the drone. That simple. You're slowly gonna move your controls, moving into the right, and you're just gonna basically come down on that. So you do two things. One, I like to do that. When you bring your camera back down and you land it somewhere safely, um, all you're going to do is simply one and two. You're going to hold that down and you're going to release. Make sure you put these gimbal covers back on or else you will destroy your camera and you're basically an idiot. Turn off the app, one, two, it'll all turn off. Go home, enjoy your footage. You now went home with a drone that did not crash because you listened to my instructions. Thank you so much for watching. And for next week, talk about crashes. Watch the first time and watch the footage where I crashed my drone built in, uh, what was it, a church built in the 1300s in Portugal. Wow, that was sad. It's always sad when you first crash your drone. And the second time, and the, just kidding, only twice. That's when you learned your lessons and every successful pilot has crashed a drone before. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell down below. It always alerts you anytime I post a video and it helps me make these videos and make me want to make these videos. Thank you so much.